playing around with uh, a tune called Mr. Dyingly Sad. Very unusual pop tune from the 60s. I think it might be from 66. It was a big hit for um, a group that I really don't know much about. Um, <clears throat> the Critters. I was struggling for the, for the name. Yeah, The Critters. Everything back then was, you know, Beatles, Animals. So this was The Critters. Uh, it's just an unusual pop tune because it's got nice chord changes. It reminds me a little bit of the old tune called Call Me. You know, that was a, a bit of a standard back then. This one does a similar thing. So it starts out, let me show you the, the chord sheet that I have here. Um, it starts out on D, and it goes through a couple of, you know, a few different key centers, which is nice, especially for a tune that was a pop tune back then. A lot of pop tunes back then were 145 or 1645 or what have you. But this one was different. It kind of stands out from that era, you know. Uh, hopefully you can capture this. I watched a few different versions online. Uh, one is of a guy, I think his name is Don Cachone. Don, I'm mispronouncing the name. But apparently he's the guy who wrote the song and he's doing it in his later years. And uh, he has the guitar tuned down a whole step. I think he's doing it in a different key to accommodate the change in his voice. Um, but I finally, I found um, a guy who originates from uh, Thailand. And he just takes you through the whole tune. He's strumming the chords. So basically, let's do the same right here. We have uh, D major 7. Now, the downside of not being able to sing is that I can't sing it for you. But the melody starts out... Okay, so if you could just... Hopefully, if you have any interest in the tune, you probably have heard it. Here we go. D major 7. For two measures. Then D minor 7. G7. C major 7. Different key now. This is like, call me. C minor 7. F7. B flat is the key we're in now. G7, which is like a 6th dominant 7. C minor. Seven flat five. Very unusual for back then. D minor, D flat diminished, C minor, F7, B flat major seven, F minor over B flat, A7 sus to A7, which brings us back around to the top. this. D minor. C minor. F7. B flat. F minor over B flat. A7 sus to A7. Now here's the middle part of the song. I'm doing it down here, open position, but put your first finger on the F, so it, it amounts to an A7 sharp 5. This is the part of the melody where it's like, the melody note is F. Now we go to D minor, D minor with a major 7, to D minor 7, G7, 
sus to G7, A7 sus to A7, we're back for one more. just vamps between B flat major 7, F minor over B flat, B flat major 7, F minor over B flat. Yeah, so it's a pretty tune. See if you can check it out. Uh, again, I wish I could sing. I would sing it for you. But um, let's take a look at some of the key changes that happen. Again, I'll show you this. Uh, as I said, it starts out in D. Okay. But then we've got a 2-5 in the key of C. So it takes us to the key of C. The C major becomes a C minor. We've got a 2, 5 in the key of B flat. So 2, 5, going to B flat. Then, if you consider yourself in the key of B flat right now, and you go to the 6 chord, but change it from a minor into a 7, you've got the G7. Okay? But the G7 is also bringing us back to some kind of a C uh, realm. It's a C minor. C minor 7 flat 5, I don't know how that got in there, but it sounds good. Because that would normally indicate like D flat major. Anyway, then we're into uh, here's the part where it's I'm mystifyingly um, sad, I'm Mr. Dyingly sad, whatever. I don't know the lyrics, they're kind of convoluted, but D minor, chromatically down to D flat diminished. Then to C minor, that's a two, that's a five in the key of B flat again. B flat, then F minor over B flat. And then you just take um, a step down to A7 sus to A7. And that brings you back to the top again. The middle section is something like take my hand. And, uh, so that's kind of plain. That's 2, 5, 1, 2, 5, 1 in C. There's a part where the lyric says, um, show me love. That's here. So you've got to check out the original recording, but it's the... Uh, the lyric note is F, and one of the sources I use to get the chords, he's playing the F on top of the A7 chord here. So it's an A7 sharp 5, A7. There's a little chromatic thing down, D minor. It's the cliche that you hear, <clears throat> excuse me, in Stairway to Heaven. You hear it in this masquerade. A ton of different tunes. I think some people call it a line cliche. D minor to D minor major 7 to D minor 7. G7 sus to G7, I like this, and then just go up a whole step. A7 sus to A7, of course, that's the five chord of D. And we're back again. And again, as I said, the, the ending is just a vamp between B flat major 7 and F minor over B flat. So to me, kind of unusual, especially for that period. fun little tune, Blast from the Past. You know, I have all the latest tunes. Let it be said, I have all the most modern stuff from 1966, 67. I think this might be from 66. Anyway, I hope you like the tune. 
if you check out the original, the vocal harmonies are really, really good. Um, they might have been inspired by the Beach Boys back then. I don't know, but uh, just really, really good vocal harmony and a nice tune. Um, okay, so thanks so much for watching. If you like this kind of stuff, uh, give me a like, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you next time. Keep playing. Keep having fun.